Welcome to Ag Dealer TV. Well, a lot of the fields I've been driving past are just like this one. They're seeded and they're already starting to come up, which means that in a few days or a few weeks, sprayers are going to be out in full force applying herbicide. And that means the cost of chemicals is going to be on producers' minds. John Deere, for one, thinks it can help with that, keeping those costs down, by using its see and spray system. I had a chance to talk to John Deere's go-to-market manager, Tim Dinert, about that system and its evolution. Have a look. Yeah, we, we launched Sea and Spray Ultimate a year ago. We have Sea and Spray Premium that we just launched this March, which is a uh, precision upgrade for an existing sprayer, but using that Sea and Spray technology of identifying weed versus crop and then can also do any green on brown, which is like a fallow situation as well. But for sprayers, yeah, our sea and spray technology is the, the latest and greatest thing. Now, right now, it's limited to, to crop types, uh, corn, soybean, um, and cotton, cotton I think, uh, yep. which wouldn't really apply to our market too much. Um, I assume small grains are somewhere in the future for that technology? Yeah, we're definitely working on additional crops. Uh, we look at what's the most opportunity based on uh, savings across the field or just the amount of acres, but we'll... we'll uh, we'll move into other crops into the future as well. Now, it's as I understand it, it's, it's limited to a single tank product. It doesn't do uh, the two tank system. No, you can, so we have both uh, possibilities. So if you have Sea and Spray Ultimate, that has the dual tank capability where you can do broadcast with one set of nozzles and a tank and then a uh, targeted spray with the other set of nozzles. So that's available as a dual tank in Sea and Spray Ultimate. And then Sea and Spray Premium, which was just launched this spring, that is for a single tank sprayer. So taking the sprayer that uh, a farmer or uh, ag service provider has of today, adding that technology on it and turning it into a targeted sprayer. And that's Sea and Spray Premium it can be retrofitted to sprayers as old as the 2018 model year. Is that right? Yep. So 2018 newer sprayers can get this technology and that's some of the Strategy that we've kind of moved towards is knowing that there's a lot of incremental value that we can provide to customers, depending on what they are looking to do or whatever technology that we come out with. So um, it's a, an upgrade that you can put on a spray that you bought this spring or back in 2018 to get that targeted in crop capability of sea and spray. I guess uh, one of the concerns some people might have is with the uh, resistance that we're seeing on some plants is is the sea and spray targeting efficiently enough to make sure that we're not getting any any of those uh, uh, weeds kind of escaping the, the the technology? Yeah, that's a, that's a valid question. So with sea and spray, we targeted to have as good or better efficacy of broadcast. And so if you look at our ability to target, hit weeds, and kill the weeds, our expectations is that sea and spray is working as well or better than a traditional broadcast sprayer. And that's been the expectations from day one is to make sure we are a good stewards of the land, just as you said, because if we don't do a good job of targeting and killing weeds and we have weed resistance that um, expedites and becomes you know, a, a few years quicker than we'd like, that's not good for everybody and the sustainability of farming in general. And now to keep track of uh, fields in terms of the agronomy end of things, uh, the John Deere Operations Center is going to play a role in in this as well with uh, the ability to create field field maps with quite precise field maps where spray was applied and not applied, as I understand that, right? Yeah, so a, a big no-brainer that people love is the fact that you could have a weed pressure map. So as you're going across the field, the sprayer is showing it where it turned on the nozzles and where the nozzles were off. So you can visualize if you said you have savings of 60% uh, or 66%, you could see that on the map itself by where it's turned on and off. And you can start to overlay those maps with maybe some yield maps in the fall from your combine and or maybe a tillage map if you have true set and you're varying your, your tillage depth and you could see maybe the effect of weed control throughout the year based on tillage or no-till. So yeah, we, we just start adding layers on where you could start to dissect your data and your field even more, where you start to understand the effects of each step in the production process um, now that we're getting more granular. So yeah, the, uh, like I said, the people that really like this technology, the first thing they loved is the fact that they can go across the field, see where they have 
applied and it's essentially correlated to a weed pressure mass. Seeing spray is available on our 410R, 412R, 612R, and our 616R um, for 120 width boom sprayers. And so you can order that from the factory, factory fit with Seeing Spray Ultimate. And then uh, if you're looking to retrofit a 2018 or newer sprayer, you can put Seeing Spray Premium on those sprayers as well to get that Seeing Spray technology that you all heard of. Well, now we're to the next level of plant by plant control. And that's where it gets really interesting, a lot of fun. And that's what Seeing Spray is able to do. We're looking at the difference between crop versus weed and acting based on seeing just the weed and spraying a weed. And that, that's just the beginning of the Seeing Spray journey. Um, if you can about imagine having a machine going through the field with cameras and developing more capability and more technology in the future as far as sensing and acting based on what it sees going through the field. Uh, we're just at the start of the sea and spray journey. So that's a lot of fun. And it used to be, we we're kind of finding value for people going bigger, faster, wider, more comfortable. Now we're getting to the point where there's a lot of value about being smarter and having plant by plant control. And so uh, we could have this interview a year from now, we could be talking about all new things that we've developed in our sea and spray model that are coming to the market and are gonna change how you approach the chemical application system. Yeah, and you know what I think you coming from Canada, big thing to remember is we're we're developing, we're gonna keep getting better with this model with seeing spray. There might not be the crops or everything that are necessarily um, favorable to the, your home market, but we're coming. We're gonna we know that there's a lot of value to grow this technology everywhere. And so uh, stay tuned, keep growing with us on the sea and spray journey because it like I said, every year we're gonna come out with some more stuff and more capabilities and it's going to get better over time and it'll be pretty exciting well that's it for this episode be sure to check back again for more news and information on the ag machinery world thanks for watching <laughs>